Hi there. Now, suppose you're asked to expand 3 plus 2x, say, to the power 4. Then one way you could do it is to just set it out like this. It's 3 plus 2x multiplied by 3 plus 2x multiplied by 3 plus 2x multiplied by 3 plus 2x. And then you could expand, say, these last two brackets and get this line. And then expand 3 plus 2x with this bracket here. And if you do that, you get this. Clean this bracket up, and you're going to have this line. And then we've just got to multiply these two brackets out. You get all of these terms, and then group them together, and finally you get the result for the expansion. Now that takes quite a bit of effort to do that. Imagine what it would be like if this was to the power 5. Another bracket here, and it's going to be a little longer. But what is if it was, to say, to the power 14? It's just going to get, become, well, totally impractical. So there's got to be a better way of doing this. And there is. There's a formula that I'm going to give you here without any proof, but we just need to be able to use it. If you've got, say, a plus b, all to the power n, something like we've got here, where a is the 3, b is the 2x, and n is the power 4. Now, This formula that I'm going to show you is only true, though, if that power, let's just write it in here, if n is a positive integer. And we've got a positive integer here, being 4. OK, so this is going to work. So it won't work for negative powers or fractional powers. So what is this formula? Well, this is identical to something called NC0. I'm assuming you're familiar with this type of notation. If not, I've done a tutorial on this, and you should see a link on the page on my website, OK, to showing you how we go about working with these NC values. So it's NC0, and then we take the first term in the bracket, A in this case, and we raise it to the power N. And then we take the other term, B, and we raise it to the power 0. And then for the next term, we do NC1. And then we reduce the power on A by 1, so it's now A to the power N minus 1. And we increase the power on B by 1, so it's now B to the power 1. The next term will be plus NC2. And we multiply it by A to the power N minus 2. We reduce this by one power, and then we increase the b by one power, so it's now up to b squared. And all the time, you should see that if you were to add n minus 1 with 1, you get n. n minus 2 with 2, you get n. n plus 0, n. So always these two powers add up to n. I'm sure you could guess what the next term is going to be. It's going to be nc3, a to the power n minus 3, b to the power 3. And it's going to go on like this until we get to the last term. The last term is going to be ncn. Then it's going to be a to the power n minus n, which is, in other words, going to be a to the power 0. And the b will go up to b to the power n. So... This particular formula, I would definitely encourage you to try and remember, although you'll find it quite often in the formula sheets that you or formula booklet that you get given in any exam. Now, let me just demonstrate how we can use this then for, say, 3 plus 2x to the power 4. If we've got 3 plus 2x then, all to the power 4, this is going to be identical then to, well, a is the 3, b is the 2x, n is the 4. So it's going to be 4c0. We'll talk about this value in a moment. 4c0, and then it's a to the power n, so it'll be 
to the power 4. So just put that in brackets, 3 to the power 4, and then it's multiplied by b, which is 2x to the power 0. So that's the first term. Next term will be 4c1. 4c1, and then a, that's the 3, is reduced by 1 power, so it's now 3 down to the power 3. And then we increase the b, which is 2x, we increase that power by 1. So it was 0, so it's now up to 1. And we should be able to get the next term, 4c2. Reduce the power on the 3, so it's now 3 squared. Increase the power on the 2x, so it is now 2x all to the power 2. Next term, 4c3. Then it's reduce the power on the 3, so it's 3 to the power 1 now. Increase the power on the 2x, so it's 2x to the power 3. All the time then these powers are adding up to 4. Okay. And now on the last term, which will be 4c4, and then we've got 3 to the power 0, and then 2x all to the power 4. Now, when we work out these values, 4c0, 4c1, 4c2, 4c3, and 4c4, we can either use the calculator to work them out, well, there's another way, which I will certainly show you in a later tutorial, but for now, it's called Pascal's Triangle. It's just a pattern of numbers, and that can be quite quick when we have got a small value here to work with. We write 1, and then we write 1, 1. And then this next line, which is suitable when we're working with to the power 2. What we do is we write a 1 here and we add these two numbers together giving us 2 and then we put a 1 down on the end. When we're dealing with the power 3 the next line is 1, 3. We add these two numbers together, put 3 there, add these two together, 3, and then we just put a 1 on the end. Now these values here Okay, for when, as I say, we've got 3. But when we've got 4, we go to this line. 1, add these two together, 4. Add these two together, 6. Add these two together, 4. And then put a 1. And these numbers here, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, will be the values of 4C0. 4C1 is the 4. 4C2 is 6. 4c3 is 4, and 4c4 is the 1. So it's an alternative way of getting those values. Now, all we've got to do then is just evaluate this. So this is going to be identical then to 1 multiplied by 3 to the power 4. 3 to the power 4 is 81, and anything to the power 0 is 1. So you've just got 1 times 81 times 1. So it's just going to be 81. For 4c1, we've seen it's 4. Or you could work it out on the calculator. 3 cubed, that's 27. This is 2x. So 4 times 27 times 2x. That gives me 216x. 4c2 is 6. We've got 3 squared, which is 9, and this is going to be 4x squared. So 6 times 9 times 4x squared, that gives me 216 again, but 216x squared. For this term, 4c3 is 4, times 3, times 8x cubed. Remember, the 2 is cubed. So 4 times 3 times 8x cubed gives me 96x cubed. And the last term, 4c4 is 1, anything to the power 0 is 1, and so you've got 2x to the power 4, that's going to be 16x to the power 4, so that comes to 16x to the power 4. So you can check this against what we had here. Same answer, this version is in ascending powers of x as opposed to this one in descending powers of x. But look how much easier it is 
to work out than having to work through all this. Okay, well, I've just moved this around as you can see and I've got a question here which I would strongly encourage you to have a look at. It's this one, expand 2 minus 3x to the power 5 up to the term in x cubed. So I'll give you a moment just to do this if you'd like to uh, pause the video, come back when ready and you can check your work solution against mine. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So let's just put down the 2 minus 3x then all to the power 5. Now with this one, a is going to be the 2 and the b is going to be this time minus 3x and n is the positive integer 5. So according to the formula then it's going to be 5c0 and then we've got the a value which is 2 and that is to the power n which is 5 in this example. And then we take the b which is minus 3x and that's to the power 0. Now the next term will be 5c1 and then it's going to be 2 to the power 4. We reduce the power on the 2 by 1 so it's 2 to the power 4 and then at the same time increase the power on the minus 3x by 1 so it's now up to the power 1. And then next term is going to be 5c2, 2 to the power 3 and then start to increase this term by 1. So it's minus 3x now to the power 2. And this is an x squared term. We've got to take it up to x cubed. So we need one more term. That's going to be 5c3. And then this is going to be 2 to the power 2. And minus 3x to the power 3. Now there's going to be more terms in the complete series but we've got to just do it up to x cubed so just put plus there and so on okay on the end. Now we've just got to work each of these terms out and again you could use your calculator to work out 5c0, 5c1 and so on or you could use Pascal's triangle and this line here was for the power 4, it gave us these values, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Now when it's to the power 5, we just need another line in here. So you put a 1 down there and you add together the 1 and 4 giving us 5. 4 and 6 is 10, 6 and 4 is 10, 4 and 1 is 5 and then you put a 1 on the end. So this 1 is the value of 5c0, 5c1 is 5, 5c2 would be 10, and this one here, 5c3, that would be that 10 there. So that saves you time if you want to do it by this method. Anyway, working this out, we've got now 2 to the power 5, which is 32. This is 1, and 5c0 is 1. So you're just going to get 32 there for that first term. For this one, you've just got... 5 multiplied by 2 to the power 4 which is 16 and you've got minus 3 here, minus 3x. So it's going to be a negative term and if you work that out you end up with minus 240x. Now for the x squared term, when we square minus 3x that's going to be a positive value, it's going to be 9x squared. 2 cubed is 8, so that's 8 times 9 is 72, times the 10 for 5c2 is going to be plus 720 then, plus 720x squared. And finally for the x cubed term it's going to be negative, so it's going to be minus 27x cubed off of this part here, minus 3x all cubed, multiply that with 2 squared which is 4, and so you're going to get 108 and then times it with the 10, the value of 5c3, and that's 1080. So you're going to have minus 
x cubed. And there'll be other terms as well, so don't forget to put plus and so on. Now, it's also worth pointing out that when you do something like this, notice how we've got an oscillating sequence here of terms. We've got a minus followed by a plus followed by a minus. And this will be the case for something like this. So when you expand, you'll either get something all in positive terms, or it might come out oscillating, or it'll come out with all negative terms. So it's quite a valuable check when you're doing this that you can see what type of pattern structure you get coming through. Well, I hope these two examples have given you an insight then into how we can use the binomial expansion using what we often call the NCR method for expanding something like this, a plus b to the power n.